everyone and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be attempting seven second riddles. So we're going to see how smart, or in my case, how dumb I really am. Let's begin. Who would you save? The child? Maybe? I've got a rope. Ah, scorpion sting will most likely kill the child. That makes sense. Okay, who would you save? The child who has the broken arm. That makes sense. Was I right? She can't swim because her arm's broke. That makes perfect sense. Nick is the owner of a coffee shop. This morning he discovered... What did you discover? That some money had disappeared from the register. Oh no, there's a thief. So the last time he was there was the night before and the money was still in the till. So someone's took it during the night. Last night at the cafe there were two people. But which of these two people has took it? A barista and the cleaning lady. So the barista has access to the till. After you left the cafe there wasn't a single client. Interesting. You'll be able to tell that from the till roll. Honestly, on nights like that, I go take a nap in the back room. Should he be telling his boss that? So I slept that night too. Even when Anna came in, it must be her. What? I didn't take the money. I, as always, didn't come for long. Washed the floors and left. Have the floors been cleaned? Is there like a mop bucket anywhere? Have we seen anything? John was in the back the whole time. I can't see anything on the floor. The barista has access to the till, so I'm gonna assume it was him and that she's confirming that he was in the back, but then when she left, he came. If there were no customers and he slept, where did the coffee go? What? I didn't see that in cups. I didn't notice that at all. So it was, was it John? It just sort of skipped. I didn't get an answer. I'm so confused. And now it's all about Santa eating cookies. What is happening? Because Mrs. Claus was allergic to all types of nuts, so he has to eat his cookies outside. that has got nuts in, okay? But when he looked into his sack, he saw that all the cookies were gone. Interesting. Who's eating? The reindeers? Santa got the suspects in the stable. Dancer, Dasher, Prancer, Dixon. Okay. Who ate my cookies? I was making peppermint swirls with Mrs. Claus. How are you going to do that? You've got no hands. You've only got hooves. How does that work? I was keeping an eye on the plum pudding. Okay, that's fair enough. I was making peanut butter with Mrs. Claus. Prancer is the one that did it because she's allergic to nuts. So Prancer's lying because they couldn't make peanut butter because she'd be allergic to it. I have solved the case. Now I know who took my cookies and it's Prancer. Easy. Who was lying? Is he actually going to tell me this time or is he just going to skip the riddle like the last one? I don't know why he skipped the riddle. He said that he was making peanut butter with Mrs. Claus. But Mrs. Claus is allergic to nuts. So therefore, you're a dirty little liar, Prancer, and we've caught you. Who would you save first? Oh my goodness. This is awful. Who's in the car? The dude trapped under the car? Surely. How are they going to get down for a start? They've not got a rope or anything. Like, you'd go to the guy crushed by the car. He's the biggest concern. Like, she's got a broken arm, but her arm's already going to sling. She's fine. Dude under the car. Surely. The unconscious one. Yeah, I was going to say. Come on, man. Obvious. Who is the fairy? Sorry, what? Oh, it's the woman right there with the wand in her hand that you can see. Although I would like to pick the cat. I think it's a cat that's popping out behind the plant pot. There we go. It's the fairy godmother. We found her. Oh, wait, what? Is it another fairy one? Is it the guy with pointy ears behind the screen? One of the two clerks, the one on the right with the green hair and the pointy ears and the green beard. I think it's him. It is. Ooh, another fairy one. Where is the fairy? Okay, there's a sword and shield down there for some reason, and that guy's got pointy ears. So I'm going to assume it's the guy with the pointy ears. Okay, who is the fairy here? Right, there's like a floaty thing behind the red car. I'm assuming that's a fairy. Because no one else looks, looks out of the ordinary. Everyone just looks like basic mechanics. And then there's a big floaty boy. How many phones can be charged at once? Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's one plug socket. Oh, but you can plug them all into each other, can't you? So it'd be, if you just plug one into there, like that one into that one, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh no, because you've got to plug them in. Ah! One, two, three. I'm going to pause. I'm going to cheat. I'm cheating. I'm pausing because I'm counting, right? Because I'm going to get this cheated you can shout at me in the comments but i'm cheating so you plug the the singular one into the plug socket you then plug one of the other plug sockets into it so then through the power of editing i will have worked out the answer so you don't have to sit here watching me trying to count i think the answer is 24 
I'm probably going to be wrong. There's going to be some sort of... Because there's a couple of plugs that look different. Oh, I just realised there's some plugs that are different. It's not going to be 24. I'm going to say like 20. Because there's some plugs you can't use. Oh, it's somewhere between 20 and 24. We'll go with that. Oh, no. The wire's broke. Right. I thought it meant that you could plug them all into each other. Oh, my God. I made this so more complicated than it needed to be. What is wrong with me? Oh, wait. No, you do plug them all in. Yeah, look. There's some you can't use. There was nowhere near 20. There was 14. Okay, we're at the police department. The police found a lost child. He is too little to talk and can't say where his parents are. Right, how the heck are we going to find his parents? Three people came claiming they were the kid's parent. Okay. But which one is it? They were allowed to spend two minutes alone with the boy. Surely the boy would just run up and be like, Oh, mum, and like cuddle. The police were watching them through the window. She's like trying to bribe him with drinks and chocolate. Yeah, I feel like number two so far is more than likely going to be the one. Unless number three, he literally just runs up to her and cuddles her. Wow, this mum's going off. Look, it's your favourite car here, okay? Is it his favourite car? Okay, that one's made it awkward. It's still a gift, though. I think it's number two. Who is the criminal? No one's the criminal. We're trying to find the parents. So number two is the mum. Who would give chocolate and french fries to a little kid? This is typical of kidnappers to offer toys. So I was right. There we go. Number two. Two couples come to the police station. Help. Our kids are missing. We can help them. We can solve this case. They went camping on Friday and disappeared. Where did they go? There are photos of all the boys found in our state over the last week. Okay. We're going to try and match them. Can you find your sons? Oh my goodness. Can you find the son of each couple? So I'm assuming the kid in the bottom row in the right is a child to the one that has ginger hair at the top. Then the kid in the middle. Right, okay. I didn't even... I should have paused. Should have paused. I was going to say the one kid in the middle was for the bottom family. That's what I was going to say. Let's see if I was right. Yes. Nailed it. I was going to say because the hair. Makes sense. Oh, the beauty spot. Didn't even realize. Well, there you go, guys. That was seven second riddles. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. I did quite well. If you were playing along at home, hopefully, you did as well as I did. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next.